Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man, and today I'm going to introduce you to a brand new product that I am super excited about. Now you already know I add a lot of accessories, LEDs, lights to my 2018 Honda Goldwing. Well, what you may not know is that these new motorcycles, like the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing, have a CAN bus electrical system. It's all computerized, very sophisticated. So when you're adding aftermarket accessories, you have to be very careful not to just tap into an existing wire like we did in the old days, or you could create a fault code, might not even be able to start your motorcycle if you do something like that. So it's very important that you protect this CAN bus or you isolate this CAN bus electrical system from any accessories that you might want to add to your motorcycle. Well now, Pathfinder LED, one of my favorite companies, has come out with a brand new product that does exactly that. This is their new power accessory hub for the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. What I love about it is it's super compact. You can mount it just about anywhere. It's completely weatherproof. It's the best solution I've found for protecting your CAN bus electrical system. So in today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into this new power accessory hub, talk about it, and show you how to install it on your Honda Goldwing. That's coming up right after this. So let's not waste any time. Let's just tear into this package and see what this is and how it works. And I'm going to read some of the information that I got from Pathfinder LED. And I will just give you a quick disclosure. Uh, Pathfinder LED is sponsoring this video. And they did send me this power accessory hub to review and, and test and install on my gold one. Let's take a look at what comes in this kit. First of all, we have these plug and play uh, little harnesses. And what I like about these is they're as about as short as I've seen. They're not super, super long, so they shouldn't take up a lot of space. Now, these are going to plug into the saddlebag connectors on the left and the right side of your Honda Goldwing. And then here is the main event. This is the, uh, the power accessory uh, hub itself. But basically what it's going to have is two wires that will connect to those plug and play uh, connectors. And then of course we have uh, some wires that are going to go to the battery. We have a ground wire. I'm assuming this is for a switched circuit. You've got your hot lead, your ground lead, and then on the uh, unit itself, which is sealed, which is really cool. And it's also very compact. It's very small. There are wires coming out of the unit, and these are for the various circuits. Now, we have two grounds, one on each end. Those are both black wires. Uh, what I would assume is a brake, okay, yeah, BRK is a brake light, which is red. We have a running light, which is white. We have right turn signal and left turn signal. Now this follows the Pathfinder LED color, their wiring color scheme. So if you have Pathfinder LED products, uh, you can very easily connect them to this hub using their color, they're all color coded. Now you can still uh, attach other accessories, other brand accessories to this as well, but you will need to know what their color uh, wiring codes are. And then we have uh, an accessory terminal, and that would be a switched uh, outlet. So for something that you want to come on only when the motorcycle ignition is turned on. Now that would be something like a GPS, for example. And then you have a hot terminal, which is always hot, built rugged, and completely weatherproof. Compact design, mount virtually anywhere. We'll mount it under the seat, of course. A 60 amp total capacity, utilizing the latest advanced power integrated chip, a Japanese chip. Interesting, not Chinese, but Japanese. The hot circuit, which is always on, is rated at 20 amps or 240 watts. The accessory terminal, which would be your switched terminal, is 8 amps, 96 watts. The left turn signal, is 8 amps, 96 watts, as is the right turn signal and the DRL or running lights. Very excited to get this on the bike. 
I can't wait. I, I'm just, I, I just want to get this thing on and show you how, to how easy it is going to be to install and to protect your CAN bus system. So let's get to the garage. Start by putting your Goldwing on the center stand and you'll need to remove the seat. For detailed instructions on how to remove the seat, check out my 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the ground terminal from the battery. Locate the two saddlebag connectors underneath the seat shown here. Now when we reference the left and right side of the motorcycle, it's as if you're sitting on the bike facing the front of the bike. We're going to connect this harness in line and on the right side of the motorcycle, which is where we are right now, you want to make sure you connect the one that has the yellow wire. We'll see a yellow, red, white, and black. And that one goes on the right side. The other connector, it is a little different. It has a blue wire. The blue wire goes on the left side of the motorcycle. Because we're just going to pull these apart. You can press down on this tab right here. And when you press down on that tab and pull this connector toward the back of the motorcycle, it will come off like this. So this right side connector tab will go on top and it just kind of slips in like that. And if you press it together, you'll hear it click like that. And then we do the same thing with the other end up here, just like that, and then press it in till it clicks. And now we're going to do the exact same thing on the left side of the motorcycle with this other connector. Now I'm taking the plug and play connectors, which are these little white connectors, kind of orange on the inside, and I'm, you can see I kind of routed it underneath this wire here. Now the other one on the right side, I'm going to kind of tuck it underneath this wire harness because I don't want things laying on top of this because when we put the seat back on, it could, you know, it could be in a bind. So we'll just pull this up like this. And now we've got our two plug and play connectors kind of right next to each other. And we'll probably put them underneath this little frame, this little rail here, so that we can hook them up to our power accessory hub. So now I'm just going to set this power accessory hub right here in this fashion, as you can see, with the accessory wires facing the rear of the motorcycle. These are my power cables that are going to go to my battery and my accessory terminal. And over here, I have my two plug and play connectors. They're coming in here on the right side of the motorcycle. And I'm going to route these just kind of underneath these harnesses here. And I'm going to plug them in right here. There's my other plug and play connectors that are coming from these uh, saddlebag connectors that we just hooked up a minute ago. Now I'm hooking up the right connector first. And you know it's the right connector because it has the yellow red wire. Here you can see the yellow red. You want to make sure those colors match up. Just clip it into place. It's just plug and play. Just clips in like that. On the left side, you'll notice if you kind of pull that sheathing back, you can see it has a blue and white wire. Also has a blue and white wire. Okay, so everything's plugged in. The next thing we want to do is take our three black red and green. Now I'm using these colors now. These may change in the final production unit. So we're basically just going to feed these underneath this frame rail and it comes out right there by the battery. So let's do that now. Okay, we just want all of these underneath here for now. So here's my red wire coming from the power hub. I'm also adding another wire. This is for a jump starter harness. I'm just going to put it on top. They'll both go to the same uh, terminal. I think I got it. First try. Wow. 
And now we need to remove our fuse box cover, which is this cover right here. And we're gonna do that by pressing in on these two little tabs on the left and the right and just pull it out. It comes right off. Now you can ignore this little plastic box up here. This is another accessory I have. You will not have this, so don't concern yourself with that. Let's pull this uh, door off here. And there is your, your fuse box. You'll notice up here, there's a couple of what are called accessory terminals. The top one is hot and the bottom one is a ground or a negative. We're gonna use this top one and that's where we're going to connect our green wire coming from the power accessory hub. Screw that back into the terminal. Just like that. Now you can connect the black or the ground cable to the ground terminal of your battery. Again, I have an extra cable for my harness for my jump starter. Now we're ready to begin connecting our accessory wires to our power accessory hub. Now each circuit is recognized by a different color. Here the yellow wire, for example, is for the right turn signal. And this will match the color codes of all of your Pathfinder LED accessories. Many accessories you purchase today will come with plug and play connectors designed to fit into a special harness that the manufacturer offers. And these connectors have to be removed from the accessory before it can be wired into the power accessory hub. Now I want to give you a warning that some manufacturers may void your warranty if you cut off their proprietary connectors. But it's the only way you can connect to the power accessory hub and therefore protect your CAN bus electrical system. So the connectors will need to be removed and those wires stripped back. I should also note that Pathfinder LED will not void your warranty on their products if you remove these connectors. I should also point out that different manufacturers may use different colors for their various circuits. For example, the running light on Pathfinder LED is always going to be white, but on a different brand product, it may be a different color. So you'll need to check with that manufacturer to find out what their color codes represent. Here I've got the right turn signal wire from the plug and play connector on my Pathfinder LED cowl light. I've stripped the wire back and I want to add it to the right turn signal circuit on the power accessory hub. And once again, a different manufacturer's right turn signal wire could be a different color, but you'll still connect it to the right turn signal circuit on the power accessory hub. To connect multiple accessories to a single circuit, we're going to use these Wago lever nuts. These are a really great way to add multiple accessories to a single circuit. These Wago lever nuts are the most reliable connectors like this that I've found. I would avoid buying the cheap knockoff versions. Make sure you look for the Wago brand and they come in two, three, and five terminal versions. I'll put links to all of these in the description of this video. The way these work is by lifting up these levers to expose the terminal and then you can insert the wire from the power accessory hub into the Wago lever nut. Now you may need to strip these wires back a little bit to reveal more of that stranded wire. Actually, there's a gauge on the back of the Wago lever nut to show you how much bare wire you'll need. Simply insert the bare wire into the lever nut and lock down that lever to lock the wire in place and it's not coming out of there. Now you'll notice you've got four terminals here, so you can add up to four accessories into this one single lever nut. To attach our accessories, all we need to do is raise up another one of the levers on this lever nut and just simply slip that stripped wire into the end and then lock down the nut. Now our right turn signal for this accessory is connected to the power accessory hub. Now we're going to need to add one of these Wago lever nuts to each one of our circuits on the power accessory hub, one for each wire. You'll notice that each one of the wires coming out of each circuit has some exposed braided wire 
on the end. We don't want that exposed wire to be uh, just hanging around inside the motorcycle. So what I recommend that you do is use one of these lever nuts on each one of these circuits if you're not using it to attach accessories. You just don't want to leave those bare wires hanging loose underneath your seat because they could arc uh, and cause a short circuit somewhere. Here you can see I've added one of the three terminal lever nuts to the hot wire coming out and I'll make sure that there's a lever nut on each circuit. Here I'm adding another wire uh, to the right turn signal circuit. Now this wire is coming from my high mount LED, Pathfinder LED that's under my luggage rack which also has a right turn signal. And as you can see, you can add up to four different accessory wires into this lever nut. Now, these accessory wires are so small, the gauge, you could actually twist two of these wires together and put it into a single lever nut terminal. If you ran out of space, you had, say, more than four accessories, you could do that. As long as you don't exceed the amperage of the circuit, you'll be fine. Here I've used another one of these five terminal lever nuts to uh, connect to my ground wire. The heavy gauge wire is the one going to the power accessory hub. And the two smaller gauge wires, one is coming from the cow lights and the other one is coming from the uh, high mount LED. So you use one of these lever nuts for each one of the different circuits on the power accessory hub. So here's what it looks like once I've got all my accessories connected using the various size lever nuts. Now I can clean all this up and I can show you that in another video. But for now, let's turn on the bike and you can see the status light is green. That's a good sign. That means everything's working in order. If the status light is red when you turn it on for the first time, you might try turning the ignition off and back on. That forces a reset of the power accessory hub. It's a good idea before putting the seat back on to check all of your accessories to make sure they're working correctly. Here you can see I'm testing the left turn signal and then I'll check the right turn signal and of course the tail lights and brake lights also. The power accessory hub comes in three variations. If this is a new installation and you do not have the Pathfinder LED plug and play harness already installed, you'll want the PAH60GW. If you already have the Pathfinder LED plug and play harness installed, you'll want the PAH60GX. And for most other motorcycles and power sports, the PAH60UN is the version you'll order.